Hi guys and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm going to be telling you about a new AI video platform called Syncmo. Now this is probably one of my favorite platforms that I've used so far. To find out everything you need to know, sit back, relax, hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into the video. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always. And as I said at the start of the video, I am going to be telling you about a new video player platform that is called Syncmo. Now nearly every sex toy brand at the moment offers a way to control your toy via video using AI technology. What makes Syncmo different is you can use your own videos. So you're not forced to look at what's online already, you can actually use something you've recorded yourself. The AI technology reacts to any video that's on screen or what's uploaded to the player. Then and it sends those reactions to the toy. And you're not just limited to one toy brand, it's actually compatible with Lovin's Toys, Satisfier, The Handy, Kiru, and Magic Motion. And there are loads more, I just can't remember them all. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to install Syncmo onto your PC or your Mac. I'm also going to show you how to connect a Lovin's toy and The Handy. Once those toys are connected, I will also show you the toys reacting to videos. That's through the normal AI website process that most platforms offer. And towards the end of the video, I will upload a video and show you how it reacts with my own content. So enough waffling from me, let's get into it. Okay guys, the first thing you need to do is go over to the Syncmo homepage and you're going to need to sign up for an account. They offer a seven day trial plan or you can sign up monthly. Once signed up, you'll be sent an activation code. Keep this safe as you will need it later on. Now you're going to have to head back over to the Syncmo homepage, click on the menu icon in the top right hand side and select Get Syncmo. You'll then be given two options, one to download for Mac and the other for PC. I own a PC so I'm going to download for Windows. Next I'm going to have to click on the download button in the bottom right of the banner. This will download sync mode to your PC or your Mac. Once it has finished downloading, we're going to select it from our downloads and we're going to install the program. There's nothing difficult about installing Syncmo, it's the same as any other program, but you may get this Windows protected message. If you do see this message, then don't worry, all you need to do is click on the more info button in the text. This will display a button that says run anyway, give that a click. Now all you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions to install Syncmo onto your PC. Once Syncmo has been installed successfully, you will be able to open it straight away like we're going to do, or you can open it later on as it does place a desktop icon onto your desktop. Now you're gonna to have to head over to your emails and get your license key. Copy the license key and go over to the Syncmo dashboard. The first thing you're gonna to have to do is enter in your email address that you registered with Syncmo with, then paste in your license key. If you do see this red warning message, don't worry, check that you've entered in your email and your license key correctly. With your email and your license key added correctly, all you need to do is click on the activate license button. You'll then see a message that says that the licensing key has been authorized and complete. Click on close and you'll be taken to the Syncmo dashboard. With everything installed correctly and our activation code activated, I'm now going to show you around the Syncmo dashboard. The first thing we're going to click on is features at the top of the screen. And I'm not going to go into too much detail on this page because I am going to be giving you a live demo. But it basically talks about how you can control your toy with videos that you watch. Back to the main dashboard and this time we're going to click on supported toys. Here you'll be able to see a full list of all the brands and toys that are compatible with Syncmo. Now this includes Kiru, The Handy, Satisfier Toys, WeVibe, Lovent, Love Honey, Magic Motion and many many more. Now I think it is important to say they don't support every toy and every brand. But if you do own one of the toys it opens up more features that you can use that you may not have been previously been able to. In all, there are 73 compatible toys with 18 in progress. So they are actively adding new toys all the time. I'll add a list of all the supported toys to my website, which you can find the link for in the description below. Back to the main dashboard, and this time we're going to click on local video player. Now for me personally, this is the standout feature for the whole platform. I am gonna go into this in more detail later in the video, but you can use your own videos and whatever's displayed on your screen to control your toy. 
This also includes browsing windows and your whole screen. I will show you later on toys reacting to videos that I've uploaded or screen shared with. We're going to head back over to the main dashboard now and click on instruction guides. Now if I've made a good enough video you'll never need to look at this. But if there is something I've missed then there is a guide for it. And if you get really stuck there is also a support button on the main dashboard. Next we're going to click on the gear icon in the top right hand side of our screen. In here we'll take you to the advanced settings menu. Menu. The first thing you can turn on is the automatic video detection and I would turn this on because it means you don't have to play around with all the controls on the videos. Next down is your toy settings. Here you'll be able to control the settings of the sensitivity of your toys. There is also a cruise control feature and what this does is slowly vibrates your toy when there's not much going on on screen. I definitely have this set as on and set to cruise. Finally, on the bottom is your extra settings. These include fine tuning your local player and setting a minimum length of video. This doesn't mean your toys won't react with shorter videos. All it means is you manually have to start the activation. Back to the main menu now and I'm going to show you how to connect to your toys. It is important at this point to remember that you do need Bluetooth. If you don't have Bluetooth on your laptop or your PC, there is a link for a dongle in the description below. For those who are using Sync Mode, with their Lovence toys you won't be able to use your Lovence dongle. So you will need a USB dongle if your laptop or your PC doesn't have Bluetooth built in. With all that being said it's time to connect our toy and make sure your Bluetooth is switched on and your toy is switched on. For this part of the video I am going to connect my Lovence Gush. To do this at the top of the page next to the address bar is the Syncmo icon. Give this a click and it will bring down a drop down menu. At the moment you can see it's set to disabled, we're going to click on enabled. You'll notice now that all the buttons are now activated. In the bottom left it says add device, give that a click and it will search for your toy. Once your toy has been found it will start flashing, give it a click and it will connect your toy to the Syncmo platform. Once your toy has been connected it should vibrate. The plus and minus button next to the add device button will also make your toy vibrate. This does set the intensity level but it does also work as a very good way of testing your toy. If you click on the gear icon in the bottom right of that menu it will also bring up some settings. In here you can adjust the sensitivity and you can adjust the cruise control meaning that you don't have to to leave a video to adjust any settings that you may want to change. With our toy connected I'm now going to show you the AI feature working with a normal website. There are two places you can enter in your web address, either in the address bar at the top of the page or on the dashboard in the middle. Whichever you choose, both will work. For this next part of the video, I am going to have to blur most of the screen. I've selected a video at random and I'm going to skip to a part where there's some action on screen that makes my toy vibrate. Now I didn't pick the best video here, but the toy is keeping in time with what's going on. So that's how easy it is to install Syncmo onto your PC. And it was just as easy to connect a Lovence toy. In the next short clip, I'm going to show you how to connect the Handy. Now we're going to connect our Handy toy. To do this, at the top of the page next to the address bar is the Syncmo icon. Give this a click and it will bring down a drop down menu. Now on your Handy toy, hold down the configuration button until the green light turns to blue. In the bottom left it says add device, give that a click and it will search for your toy. Once your toy has been found it will start flashing, give it a click and it will connect your toy to the Syncmo platform. Then all you need to do is enter in your web address and use the AI feature as I showed you earlier in the video. There you have it, that's how easy it is to connect your handy toy to Syncmo. The next part of the video is me showing you how to connect it to your own content using the local Syncmo video player. Okay, so from on the Syncmo homepage, we're going to click on the local video player. And this time we're going to actually test to see what we can play. So on the left hand side, we're going to click on sync to window, which brings up a display of all the windows you've got open on your PC. Now I'm going to select a video from my YouTube channel. And the reason I'm selecting something so random is because I want to see how good the technology is. Now for someone who might like hentai films, this will open up more avenues for you to use your toy with your videos. You also may have a favourite DVD that you want to play through sync mode and control your toy. As you can see on screen at the moment our toy is active and this green banner is present in any video when you're playing it through sync mode. So I've queued up the part of the video that I want to display and I'm going to turn my toy on and show you the toy reacting to the video. Stop from being pushed to the back. All that's left to do is try it out. Oh, 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 oh. 
Okay, so we've tried the window sync. Now we're going to pick one of our own videos to play through sync mode. You might be wondering why I like this feature so much, and you might think it's actually pretty standard, but it's not. I don't know any other platform that will let you select your own videos to control your toy. I'll let you picture this scene. You've gone online, you've found an OnlyFans account that you want to buy their content from. You download it and you watch it and control your toy manually. You want to feel more involved in the action, but you can't because you are controlling your toy. Well with Syncmo all you need to do is select files on the left hand side. This will bring up your file browsing window and you'll be able to select a video that you want to control your toy with. Once you've found the video all you need to do is select it and click on the open button in the bottom right hand side. Your video will load in the player and your toy will start to react. And yes, you can make it full width of the screen. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please do hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos. And if you have been inspired to buy Sync Mode, there is a link in the description below. Now I was going to show you how to connect a Kiru toy to Sync Mode as well. Unfortunately, mine wasn't compatible. So if Kiru wants to send me one, only joking, but when I do get a Kiru toy, I will also make a video on how to connect it to Sync Mode. So there you have it, that is Sync Mode and it is extremely cool. As I said at the start of the video and throughout, there's not many video players, or I've not seen any, that lets you upload your own content and use AI technology to track the motions on the screen and to use it to control your toy. I just personally think it's really good you can use content that you've got saved onto your PC that is never actually gonna do anything to control your toy. You can just sit there and watch it at best, you can sort of control it with the toy as you're watching. And the fact that sync mode can just watch the video and make your toy react and make it a bit more interactive is just awesome. Now, as I said in the video, there are lots of brands that sync mode work with. You can see whether one of your existing toys is compatible with sync mode by clicking in the link in the description below. You can check on the sync mode website or you can check on my website. Both sites have a full list of what toys are compatible with sync mode. As I did say in the video, you do need a USB dongle if you don't have Bluetooth built into your laptop or your PC. And for those of you who are using it with a Lovence toy, do need a separate USB dongle if you haven't got it built in. The Lovence dongle doesn't actually work with the Syncmo platform. If you do need to buy a USB Bluetooth dongle, there is a link in the description below. These are extremely cheap. I think I picked mine up for about £15. And no, if you've got a Bluetooth mouse with a USB dongle, it won't work. Trust me, I've tried it. If you have been inspired to sign up for Syncmo, there is a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of Syncmo's profits if you choose to sign up. And whilst I remember, if you buy the USB dongle from the link in the description below, it is also an affiliate link. If you have got any questions, feel free to come and drop them in the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. All those links are also listed in the description below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the video that's coming up next. Until next time, guys. Peace out.